good. It was uh, it held its own for sure with with the the others. The last battery ran was was the best. I don't quite know why. I think I had the settings wrong, but um, the torque and predictability of it was. Once I understood it, because I, I had to learn pretty quick with with having not really ridden it before, but uh, it it was actually quite rideable and. I, and I, probably got quicker as the race went on with learning just to sort of use its advantages the weight was in some ways a disadvantage but um, in other areas it was good because it was sort of smashed through, through stuff but it wasn't like massively heavier than a, than a standard enduro bike it just operates a little bit differently and even like the the gyration of the engine the motor spinning up whereas like on a, on a petrol engine you can the, the, the motor spinning will pick the bike up a little bit in some places it was uh, quite different to ride but a big advantage was having a, a hand rear brake really helped and speaking with David afterwards that was quite a big quite a big advantage having that in the tight corners just to be able to sort of skid round and uh, and almost kind of drag carry the brake a little bit driving out the corners it was uh, yeah it was good the, 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 the power was there there was a few hills it struggled up when when the power dropped in the battery but um, other, other than that you know there wasn't a lot it couldn't really it got up everything that everyone else was getting up so I was impressed.